It's a salesman's dream. It's a marketing dream! The time is now to make production decisions and to produce a quality product. Team Power Ski. Bob Montgomery is a businessman with a vision that has become reality. His extensive background spans more than 20 years in recreational water sports and the personal watercraft industry. Find a need and fill it. Bob saw that need. It was the mega market opportunity of the natural sideways stance, coupled with a wide array of crossover sports. As an inventor, Bob conceived, designed, and developed the patented motorized water ski phenomenon. The Power Ski is a quality product that ultimately captures the beach image lifestyle. Hi, my name is Bob Montgomery. In 1977, I approached Kawasaki with a new marketing direction targeting marine locations. At the time, jet skis were collecting dust in 2,000 Kawasaki motorcycle dealerships across the USA. By opening the first successful jet ski only dealership, Kawasaki then decided to keep open the jet ski division. They adopted my marketing approach and I helped Kawasaki with the setup and managing of the first demo days and national races. Jim Walker is a contributing partner in Team Hydroforce. Jim previously worked for Times Mirror Cable Television before launching a career as a successful sports television producer. As the marketing director for Team Power Ski, Jim has implemented creative and innovative ideas for launching the Power Ski to the world. Lee Goble Enterprises in Brea, California, designs and develops honeycomb structures for the aerospace industry. Lee Goble Enterprises was organized in 1969 to develop, engineer, and manufacture honeycomb products for the aerospace and commercial markets. Lee Goble Enterprises has been in the aerospace and composite industries for the past 25 years. LGE fabricates, forms, contours, machines, and bonds metallic and non-metallic honeycomb structures for today's high-tech aircraft and space vehicles. LGE also designs and manufactures production tooling utilizing three and five axis CNC machines required to produce complex aerospace hardware. We have supplied parts for the space shuttle, McDonnell Douglas's DC-10, MD-80, MD-90 and C-17s, Boeing 700 series aircraft from the 707 through the 767, and are presently working on Martin Marietta thrust reversers for Pratt & Whitney's Airbus commercial jet engines. Recently, Lee Global Enterprises has joined forces with the Hydroforce team to develop close tolerance composite tooling for the power ski hull. We will be manufacturing a high-tech version of the motorized power ski employing LGE's aerospace expertise. The unique power ski will initially be manufactured using the right cold match mold process. The RTM, resin transfer molding process, is a manufacturing method that will be used because of the benefits of lower cost, higher tolerance, resulting in a higher quality product. Ruben Helmin is the former top engineer for Husqvarna since 1954. The world-renowned engineer has joined the Power Ski team and designed a low-profile, high-performance proprietary engine for the Power Ski jet board. I have been working here for some time together with these people here to create a new type of two-stroke engine, very compact uh, and to be used in the Power Ski project. Uh, Actually, I have been uh, in retirement for some time. I have a background as an engine, uh, an R&D uh, manager in the Husqvarna factory in Sweden. I have been participating in making designs for outboard engines, for uh, mainly motorcycle engines, both uh, two-stroke and four-stroke. Uh, but I find this uh, very challenging uh, task very interesting indeed. And what's so great about it is also that um, uh, we are here using a quite new process for making foundry work for prototypes. 
it's a solvent process where you are working with a new type uh, of uh, ceramic mold that is created by the aid of the uh, tape coming out of a 3D uh, type uh, computer using a pro engineer concept. Uh, to me as an uh, old fox in this engine design area, it uh, has been such a pleasure really to work with uh, JP here and the other boys uh, using this uh, completely new system for uh, making prototypes. It's a small of a miracle uh, how you can uh, really change uh, the pattern in some point and get uh, it done within a week to have new parts made up. Parts now produces a functional first article within days, directly from the CAD file. Parts now is a true one-stop shop for metal parts. After approval by the customer of the first article, parts are made in production quantities using DSPC generated tooling. This tooling, based on the same CAD data as the first article, is sent to Parts Now's foundry and machine shop, which produces precision parts for a wide variety of markets and applications. Parts Now can produce functional metal parts quickly, directly, and cost effectively through a paperless process. This new capability offers manufacturing companies an excellent opportunity to implement true concurrent engineering and just-in-time production. It is Team Power Ski's goal to fabricate the hull parts in-house, utilizing the resin transfer molding method. Resin transfer mass chilling molding is ideal for the Power Ski. This method utilizes a short cycle molding process, producing a close tolerance hull. Advent Products in Anaheim, California, headed up by Greg and Dale Fisher, design production exhaust systems for the big three watercraft manufacturers and can do the same for the power ski. I've joined the Hydro Force group to design an exhaust system for their power ski. Uh, my intentions are to produce a superior power curve than the existing exhaust system that's supplied by the engine manufacturer in that it'll have a much linear uh, more linear power curve, it'll have more peak horsepower at a possibly lower RPM and it'll put out less noise. Uh, by doing this it's more user friendly and uh, the engine will last significantly longer. The design of the Hydroforce Power Ski manufacturing plant is key to the product success. The following is a walkthrough of the proposed manufacturing facility. Materials and components are received and entered into inventory in the production control department. The fenced area to the right is the parts department where two-man assembly teams check out their parts stock. The adjoining parts department storeroom is attached to the main warehouse area. The CNC room is for machining engine blocks and components. To the right is the engine assembly line and up to the left is the power ski assembly scoreboard for employee morale. To the right are the 10 two-man assembly cages designed to create a team competitive atmosphere. The hull manufacturing department utilizes two resin transfer compression molding machines. Parts are cured and are sent two by two down a post-cure oven conveyor to the hull drilling, tapping, and trimming department, and into the non-skid decking and graphics application room, and then on out to the hull storage area. The R&D department is strategically placed to utilize positive air ventilation and the test tanks. The next area to the left is the quality control rejection and repair department. followed by the QC test tank area. The final steps are the power ski packing and crating department, then to the storage and shipping department. The design of a product is critical to its manufacturing process. In comparison, the jet ski manufacturing assembly process is more labor-intensive and time-consuming than the power ski. 
the power ski's unique simplistic design greatly reduces time and labor, utilizing less assembly steps, less materials, and less moving parts. The power ski's assembly stand design is an efficient tool to be utilized by a two-man assembly team. The many benefits include parts bins, attached air hoses and power tools, and a full 360-degree rotation for installing pumps, intake grates, and ride plates. Future Fin Systems has developed a patented safety fin system for today's watercraft. Hi, my name is Mark Fleming, President of Future Systems Incorporated. Over the last three years, our company has been working to develop fins for the water sports industry to substantially reduce injury and also to increase performance. This patented new process and product is a revolutionary new concept in fins and safety for all water sports equipment. This is achieved by using a two-part injection molding process using the most modern laser technology. Besides creating an articulating rear edge for performance, the weeding and trailing edges are injected with different urethanes to create a soft area for impact without reducing the performance characteristics. Future Systems is looking forward to developing a new high performance and safer fins for the power ski. Curtis Fin Systems in San Diego, California, designs and manufactures custom fins for surfing and windsurfing professionals. For the power ski, we're going to take all this knowledge that we've already learned and we're going to apply it to a really exciting project, which is taking, instead of just using the forces of nature to make the board go, now we've got power. So it's sort of the difference between building a sailplane or working on a jet fighter. The power ski is the jet fighter. Here at Alta Composites are really excited about being able to work with the power ski to develop the fins that are just going to make it the ultimate watercraft. The power ski derives a major portion of its market share from crossover action sports that utilize the natural balance of the sideways stance. Industries such as water skiing, wake ski boarding, surfing, windsurfing, snowboarding, skateboarding, and personal watercraft make up the power ski's primary market. Currently, the power ski has two patents that have published in the United States for the motorized water ski and operating handle. A number of new patent applications are pending in the U.S. as well as in 20 countries worldwide. Team Power Ski is confident that their unique mechanical and design claims will endure the test of time. Team Power Ski has the product and the team for success. Team Power Ski, it's just the beginning.